Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. For the past three years, I've been using this Shelter Logic tent to hold my lawnmower and four wheeler. Well, this thing is falling apart, and that is why I built a 14 by 20 shed, which is down over there. So it is time finally to pull the four wheeler and lawnmower out of here and park it in the shed, and then start taking this tent down. So let's go ahead and get to work doing that. The Shelter Logic tent has held up decently well. The first year did no problems at all. Second year started to get some rips into it, like right here. And then the third year, this happened. It just fell apart. And it was actually to the point where I can just do this and it just crumbles. So needless to say, it is done. So four-wheeler and lawnmower need to be moved down there. And it's uh, also things like pressure washer. And then eventually I'll get my ATV cart down there behind the new building. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up and move these bigger pieces of equipment out of here. I decided to move these now because it's 60 out here. It's been down in the low 20s, and if it gets too low, the uh, lawnmower won't start up. So hopefully today it'll be good. Hopefully this starts up. I need to replace the battery. It's uh, starting to get pretty low here. Yep, we're good. I moved the four-wheeler out so I can get to the lawnmower next. I'm not gonna be using this again in this uh, season, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in first, and hopefully I'll be able to get into a spot where I can uh, maneuver in there and keep this stored at the same time. building didn't cave in that's a plus so you can see I parked the lawnmower here in this direction and uh, there's plenty of room still for that door to open probably could put that over here another foot or two I was hoping I could find a way to park them both in here and be able to get either one of them out without having to move the other but I don't know if that's going to be able to happen just because of how big these things are so, but maybe what I could do is park the lawnmower on this side right here, park the four-wheeler over on this side. The issue is going to be I'm going to have uh, two foot worth of storage shelves coming out here and over there. So, but anyway, I think we'll have enough room if I park, you know, one of them all the way over here up close to the shelves and then over there and then I can have the space between them to walk through. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and bring some more stuff down here. Let's see what all needs to go down to the new building. I'm gonna be storing all of my garden tools, like these over here. I've got this power sprayer, my ATV box, a garden hose. Eventually, I'm gonna be putting the ATV trailer behind the new shed. Let's see, this stuff over here I have to go through. Anyway, let's go ahead and start off by taking 
this little stack of stuff right here down there and find a place for it. This little washer has been handy. I've used it a couple of times. So I'm thinking I can just store this behind the door over here. Let's get this out of the way. So I'm gonna have to build some hangers for things like rakes and shovels and find a place for this as well. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring some more stuff down here and then I'll show you what it looks like whenever I get everything moved out of that shelter logic tent. I have the inside of the shelter logic pretty well cleaned out except for a couple little bits. So I'll go ahead and pull the tarp off of here. We'll see how bad off this shelter logic is. This is about three and a half years worth of use out of the shelter logic. And you can see it's just starting to uh, tear up pretty quick here, especially on the top. Either I'm super strong or this is really weak. Um, but it's all way, about three quarters of the way down on the sun side. But anyway, it's time to get this thing out of here. Definitely want to recycle my pipe. This was a really good idea for making uh, the door more rigid. So if you have one of these shelter logic tents, do that with a one inch pipe. Okay, let's see what we do here. I guess we just take the ratchets out. And that'll loosen up the side here. The bottom of each side is hooked onto this channel and I was gonna have to take it apart, but then I thought, you know what? I just cut it. Quick, easy way to get this off of here. I think I'll pull this from the other side. Show you what's happening over here one light tug and it just ripped the top seam right in half so I, look at that this thing is so gone anyway let me just see what i can do to get this over the top here it's dropping all kinds of fun dust on me If you have something to cover up for about two years, this is a very good, quick, temporary solution. It lasted well for two years. The third year, no go. It just fell apart. But the frame itself is still quite well. I think if you were to purchase a, uh, another tarp for this frame, it would last for another two years easy. Uh, so that being said, it's been a very good purchase. I forget what I paid, 250, something like that. But uh, I'm gonna take this down. I'll save the components for something. I don't know what, but uh, I think for now, I'm just going to cover up the stuff that's up here still, um, like that little cart and the ATV cart there as well, and just use the tarp that I was using uh, until I get the rest of this uh, taken care of.
filmed the removal of the shelter logic tent and also putting the four-wheeler and lawnmower down in the tool shed about two months ago and forgot to do the outro. Uh, so as you can see, everything has been removed and it's doing well. I have yet to take this pile of stuff anywhere. Um, I'm kind of debating on whether I should either make a new lean-to to the tool shed that has been built with the material that I have over here. I've got a couple pieces of metal roofing and some stuff that I could use. And that would be a really good, I guess, way of storing the ATV cart and the wheelbarrow and that kind of thing. Or if I should ask my neighbor if he will take his excavator and dig out behind the, um, the current workshop. That would also be a good place for a lean-to. I'd have to remove that wall and put in an actual wall behind that. Anyway, just some thoughts for potential future projects. In the meantime, thanks for watching this one. And uh, I know the ShelterLogic tent is not a permanent solution, but it did work well for two years. So if you want to check that out, I have a link to the Amazon page down below. All right, I'll see you in the next video.